Hey everybody, here we are again. This week we're doing picadillo, which is like, a, it's a very common dish throughout Central South America. It's a workman's dish. It's basically ground beef, ground pork. Uh, in this case, we're using ground beef. Obviously I'm encouraging people to do their own spin on it. A lot of people don't like to eat red meat a lot, but you can use turkey here or you can use a mix, like half turkey, half ground beef. I'm sure there's a vegan way to do it. You could probably take Beyond Burger and use that. I, I mean, I can't vouch for what it would do. I'm not a vegan, but anyway, this is all you're gonna need here. This is two pounds of ground beef, some tomato sauce, paprika, chili powder, pepper. You can use green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, doesn't matter. Onion, garlic, celery, and potato. Potato goes in last. Uh, this is my mom's recipe, at least the way she taught me how to do it. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna cut up some celery first. Cut them into small pieces, they don't have to be perfect. Uh, we're gonna do our garlic here. So same thing we've been doing, we're gonna smash them and put them in the little wooden mashing thing uh, with some salt. And then we're gonna mash it up really good and put some salt in there, mash it some more. All right, let's get on to red peppers here. So this is just a red bell pepper, nothing fancy. Like I said, these are very simple ingredients. I mean, there's just nothing complicated about this dish at all. It's very simple. Cut these into small pieces, roughly about the same size as the celery. Then we're gonna cut up our onions. So this is like the trinity, garlic, onions, peppers, or garlic, onion, celery. Some people say that's the trinity. I don't know, maybe it's a quadrinity. And now we have all of our stuff ready. Uh, the potato we're gonna do later, so hold on to that. We're gonna just cut it into cubes, and once we actually put the tomato sauce in, we're gonna we're gonna throw that in there. And we're putting everything in together. So the meat and all the vegetable ingredients go in all at once. So we haven't turned on the heat yet. For me, I always always did it where I sauteed first. I'd saute the vegetables, but my mom was like, no, no, you don't do that on this one. Once the heat starts up, then it like kind of all mixes together. That's the way she does it. So I'll put a little spice in there. It's paprika, I think, and chili powder. And I probably put a little bit of pepper in there as well. The salt's already in the garlic, so we don't need to worry about that. So then we're just heating it and just mixing it. So you just turn the meat when it's brown. You just turn it and keep turning it for about eight or nine minutes. And you just keep turning and turning and turning and turning until it's all brown. So this is starting to get, get about where we need it to go at this point. So we put in the tomato sauce. Now here is the choice for you. I like to use beer because I think beer is a great flavor enhancer for these types of things. For me, beer gives it a nice flavor. I mean, you can use other kinds of uh, alcohol. You can use wine. I, I wouldn't recommend a red wine particularly, but you know, you can use white wine uh, if you wanted to, or you can just use water. If you're not a fan of putting alcohol in your food, then you can just use water. I have a cheap beer here, Rolling Rock. My college days were all about Rolling Rock, so anytime I see it, I, I get kind of nostalgic. So we're gonna put that beer into the mix there. I'm bubbling and doing what beer does. Got some water, so probably about half a cup, of, maybe three quarters of a cup of water in that tomato sauce can to get the residue tomato out of there. Cut up our potatoes, which are already cut up here by the magic of editing, and we're gonna throw them in. This is pre-boil. You just don't cook them in for, I don't know what the reasoning behind that is, but you don't. So I I guess they just sort of stew in there with the meat and the sauce and everything. We're gonna bring it to a boil. And now we're at full boil. Keep stirring it, keep stirring it, keep going. Get it all mixed up and then we're gonna lower and cover. And that's about it. Give it at least a good 15 to 20 minutes at uh, two or three. That's what it should look like at the end. Uh, you know, the steam is obscuring our view here. Let me get closer because that'll make the steam much worse. You can serve this over pasta, but if you're a Panamaniac like I am, typically serve it over rice. So here's white rice. You can use jasmine, you can use brown rice if that's your, your deal. I don't do brown rice. And you just pour it over the top. And this is an absolutely delicious dish and I'd recommend it for anyone. And it's super simple to make. You could do it in less than an hour. So anyway, that's it for this week. Next week we're doing this steak dish. It's like, I'm gonna shout it out to Bill Sai because Bill's been bothering me about uh, doing a steak dish. So this is like a, a cheap steak dish, uh, but sort of a typical dish that they make down there. So anyway, like, follow, do all that stuff. See you next week.